Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As mentioned, today topic is AWS S3 trigger with Lambda and DynamoDB. Here is our architecture. At first, we have to create IAM role providing DynamoDB full access. Then we create Lambda function and save Python code. After that, we add trigger as AWS S3 to connect with S3 bucket. So whenever S3 bucket get upload any data into it, then it triggers to AWS Lambda function and the data of the uploaded file get inserted into the DynamoDB table. Let's jump to our AWS console to deploy the whole architecture. Here we are in IAM access management. Click on roles, create role, choose AWS service, choose lambda, next, search here DynamoDB, we can see here Amazon DynamoDB full access, choose it, click next, provide role name as IAM for DynamoDB, create role, our IAM for DynamoDB role is created, then move to Lambda, create function, select author from scratch, function name, Choose the programming language. I am choosing here Python 3.7 version. You can choose as your requirement. Change default execution role. Use an existing role. Use IAM for DynamoDB role. Create function. Just go to code. Copy our code. And paste here. And deploy the code. Let's create S3 bucket. Create bucket. Provide bucket name. Bucket name must be unique, Mumbai and some random digits, unblock all public access and create bucket. After bucket is created, create DynamoDB table. create table provide table name as new table and partition key as unique create table it is creating now let's move to lambda function a trigger choose S3 choose S3 bucket and here event type I am choosing all object create events you can choose as your requirement such as boot post copy as your requirement you can also use prefix and suffix here I am not using. Let's add this bucket. Now let's move to AWS S3 bucket. Go to our bucket. Upload. Add file. I am choosing one file. And upload it. 
our file is uploaded successfully close you can see our file is here just move, move to our dynamo db table new table explore items we can see here the item is given we can see the item name this is the bucket in which bucket we have uploaded our image this is the event event is put this is the event time when it is uploaded this is the object the object which we have uploaded and the size of the object let's go to our s3 bucket and upload one more let's add file I am choosing to desktop and uploading one screenshot upload you can see it is uploaded successfully just move to our DynamoDB and refresh it you can see the second one is also uploaded and the second one to which we have uploaded is a screenshot in this way we can deploy the architecture of AWS S3 trigger with Lambda and DynamoDB